instruct them on what to do. When we are signing these contracts with these companies, you're kind of by default making them or allowing them to be trustee over the account. Now, what happens is if you don't give them directions on what to do and how to facilitate it, being in your proper position as the live man or woman that controls the the straw man. You know what I'm saying? You're not the straw man, so you have to mentally make sure that you're continuing to keep yourself separate. When you are controlling the straw man and you are operating in your proper capacity as a trustee, agent, executive of a state, whatever you want to call it, and you're performing your fiduciary duties, then you are supposed to send in instructions to the CFO of that company, which is the chief financial advisor of that company, and instruct them on how to handle and facilitate and settle the debts for the account. All right. So you have to accept their offer of interest payment and send it back to them with the proper instructions on what they need to do, all right? This is what you call a performance, all right? It's just like a performance bond. A performance bond, some type of performance has to be done in order for the bond to be completed upon uh, the agreed terms. When you are accepting this for value and sending it back to the CFO, not the payment processing company, then they are... That is, that is you actually performing on this contract, all right? So what happens is when we're sending in Federal Reserve notes in or debits using a debit card, credit card, or things like that, because we're not properly addressing them and instructing them on how to receive the payments, what they're doing is they are taking our Federal Reserve notes and putting them into a, what you call an escrow account and letting it sit there. Now, what happens is when you try to pay a real bill with fake money, the payment doesn't actually get made. So what they do is still accept your free voluntary gift, um, your donation, basically, because that's what you're doing. You're basically donating your Federal Reserve notes to them. They're holding that in the escrow account, and they are, they are counting on you to not come and claim that back, all right? Because after... Uh, three years of not uh, being claimed, excuse me, uh, or they can do it on a quarterly taxes, but up to three years of not being claimed, they can they can claim that as abandoned uh, property. And so what happens is they claim it as abandoned property because nobody came and claimed it, then they automatically get that payment. In addition to that, because we're not using real money to make a payment, what happens is they take your credit and issue it to themselves. They have the authority to zero out your account. But you don't know this because these companies, just like these banks, have two separate ledgers that they're they're holding and they're maintaining. And one is a public ledger and one is a private ledger. You'll never see the private ledger, so you don't know what goes on in the back end. 